So I'm out here and I'm about to repot an aloe vera plant that's been needing repotting for a long time. I wanted to give a shout out to Garden Love. If you don't follow Garden Love, I will put her channel below. She's out in Cali and she had a video about aloe vera and she actually taught me that you can cut it, you can behead your aloe vera and like double it. So the beheaded part will grow back in about a year and you can plant the top. So I didn't know that. I love learning things that I don't know. So shout out to you and thanks for the info and let's see what I'm about to do. So it's such a beautiful day today. It's like 72 degrees. So I brought all of my ferns outside and this aloe could probably use some repotting too, but they're just beautiful when they are exploding like that. So it's a beautiful day to be doing some repotting. So let's go check it out. All right, so this is my awesome aloe vera, which started out just as this one big one and has put off a lot of pups. And, and these are six little pots that I got from the Dollar Tree. So they were just a dollar. I filled them about a quarter full with hay. And then the rest was some just some dirt, some topsoil from around the house here in the yard. And I'm gonna. Are you ready? Yeah. Watch this. We're just gonna take this out. Mm -hmm. Um, it oh. said that. Um... Look at that. Hold on, I wanna take a look at that. Wow. Let's take a look. Wow. Are there worms in it? I think they are. Look. Those are, those are the roots. Oh. I thought they were worms. Well, I told you I was going to roll it. Watch out. So, wow. Yeah. It's time. Oh, okay. So the things that I have learned, that I actually learned from Garden Love, and I um, kind of knew this, but it's nice to hear it reaffirmed, is that Aloe vera doesn't really care as much about the soil. You don't want to overwater it, and it doesn't need that much depth for the roots. The roots really aren't that deep. But mine went pretty deep in that big pot, so go ahead and put it in there. So you really don't have to be that careful, just pull them off, the roots are pretty hardy. But if you look at this, you can see the main, this is the main big root. So I'm going to pull off all the little ones and just keep this big one as it is and put him back in a pot. But I'm actually going to use this pot for tomatoes because it's a little deeper. I'm going to try some tomatoes in pots this year. Let's get this finished up. 